welcome to day 7 today we will talk about dictionaries day 7 dictionaries in dictionary we can you can store unlimited number of information as in the list but what dictionary differ from the list is here you can set a value here suppose in the list if you want to write all the information about a single person no you can't do that in list but in dictionaries you can do that you can store you can wait, 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 wait. store data dictionary here this bracket this bracket represents dictionaries if you still did not get the idea of dictionary let me tell you that dictionary in dictionary can hold a multiple values for a single variable like if you want to store information of all the information about a single person let me show you now the example of dictionary dictionary always associated with one with the variable and the second one is associated with the value i will say that name equal name equal jack so here if we want to print the a if you want to use the jack is you have to create a new variable jack is and you have to define that it is 18 so and here if you want to store the address of the jack then you can say jack address uh, j and then xyz okay and let's say jack address and then say jack gender okay so it will take a very long time okay so i i that's that's why dictionary came the in dictionary you can say that let's say jack is a person so i can say that jack equal here you will here the, we will say jack name is jack name is jack okay and then, then we will say h is 18 then we will say gender gender is male then you can say address is you can store unlimited num number of data okay then address is xyz okay see if you want to print the name then we can say that jack name and it will say check i can say check is is that jack address see that's how you can access the value and store a unlimited number value or you can use dictionary as general dictionary you can say that suppose i will say dictionary is equal to just a dictionary okay these are all you see this is how you use syntax first variable that hold that will hold the value first variable that will hold the value first variable that will hold the value see that's how it works okay let me show you let's say dictionary let's say let's say man and let's write the definition of man a homo sapiens ok that is differ from all the other animals etc see i am not here to uh, give you the exact definition of man but i am just trying ok i am just 
giving us some examples like suppose if, if you want to say cat okay f4 fitted animal it is favorite for most for the most for most of the question okay. let me write some more like say we say cow Or you can add unlimited number, okay. But if it is the last item, remove the call, say, comma, okay. See, it is the last item, so I have not added comma here. You can also add comma; it it will not create any problem. But you should avoid the comma, okay. Let me show you. See, I have added comma, but still it will show dictionary of cow. See, a forfeited number, so it will. But you should avoid using comma on the last time. Okay. Hope you get the idea how dictionary is. We will see that dictionary inside the list. We will see list inside the dictionary. Okay. We will see dictionary in that di inside the dictionary. You can can that it is not limited. So you can you can do more than you can think. I will show you some example so you can get the ideas. Modifying values in a dictionary. Okay, let's see how we can modify the values in the dictionary. Modify this. Let's see how you can change the value in the dictionary. Okay. Change value in dictionaries. Okay. Yeah, I will show you how. Let's say. For example, let's take another dictionary. Let's say favorite person. Okay. Let's say my favorite person is. Okay. Let's say her name is. Let's say Darcy. Okay, not Darcy. Okay. Let's say favorite person is. You can take any example. Let's say Jack. Okay. Let's say Jack is my favorite person. Is let's say age is twenty. Okay, let's say her gender. His gender. Let's say gender. Oops. Gender. Let's say man. Okay. Let's say address. Address. San Francisco. San Francisco. of America okay see let's see this is my favorite person but now I want to change my favorite person name so I can simply say favorite person and just like same it is same as you access the value if you want to print the name you can simply say favorite name person and we can do the same to change the value. Let's say change it to. I will change favorite person to. Um, I will say Kabya. Okay. Now if you will check again favorite person name, then it will say Kabya because the value has been changed. Let's change also age. Then we will say favorite person age is. Okay. Let's say favorite person page is age is seventeen. And you can also change other things like gender. Okay, let's say gender is female. Female, and let's say let's add address, and let's change the address to addresses X Y Z. Yes. Okay. 
now if you will print third person just print all the thing inside third person see address is abc is in 70 gender is my name is kabir you can see how the value has been changed so that's how you can modify the value you can also you delete the value let me show you one thing here like if you if you don't know anything about a person you can also use delete to delete the depth value then next let's say Create again a new dictionary. Let's say private person, private person, ever, not ever, etc. And let's change the name here to let's say favorite person is let's say that's that is favorite person. And let's say age is let's assume that her age is 78 okay male is female gender is female okay her address is suppose this but not this okay let's write abc but looks like if looks like i don't know the address of the person so i can simply remove the address of the person like let's say delete separate person to and I can say I want to delete it, her address because I don't know. So now if you will check her to address, it may give you some some error. So you address. See because address is not in, but if you will see the third person to see name is RC, gender is female, age is 28 but address has been removed what if you want to remove the edge so you can simply say delete favorite person to edge and it will delete the edge now if you will print see there is only two things name and gender if you want to remove the gender also you can simply say delete gender and if you will print here See, it is here only name is showing. You can also use dictionary for storing similar information like you did in the list. Okay, dictionary similar to list. Let me show you how you can do that. Okay, let's say I will say my favorite language. Let's say what are my favorite languages. So I can say that Python obviously. Then we can say mm, let's say my name is Alexa. Okay. Alexa favorite language is oops. Alexa favorite language is Python. Okay. Let's set another person. Let's say let's say Jack. Okay. Jack favorite what the fuck? Let's say favorite Jack favorite language is Java. Okay. Let's say another friend of mine. Let's say let's say Sat. Not Sat. Let's say another friend of mine of oh, Kabya. Okay. See. Let's say another friend Akansha. Okay. Let's say favorite language is C plus plus. Okay, let's add another another friend. Let's say some. And let's add his favorite language is suppose Ruby. So that's how you can write and you can write unlimited number of similar objects like we did in, in the list. Okay, but here you can see that you don't have to create a particular list or in a particular variable for all the all the person you can uh, you can store a number of person and their favorite language 
in a single dictionary like if you want to say that not favorite my favorite you can favorite language okay and let's say i want to check the favorite language of alexa okay so then we will access favorite language of or you can say print alexa Here you can print favorite language of Alexa. Alexa. See, Alexa favorite language is Python. You can add full stop here. Okay. Alexa favorite language is let's say let's print some favorite language. Okay. And you can say some favorite language. Yes. Shine. Some third language is Ruby. Okay. You can you can also cap capitalize the programming language like right? some programming language. Let's say I want to capitalize the Ruby. So you can say dot t r t l e. Okay. So it will look like it is a programming language Ruby. Here you can do the same. Here I will write dot not here dot title. I like the third language Python. See, that's how you can use dictionaries for storing similar similar ob objects. Let's talk about like how what if you want to print every person name and their third language. Here I print only one. I have to print one by one. But what if I want to print every person and their favorite language in an order? So I I, I don't I, I won't write again and again. It will not a good idea. So there is a for loop for that. So I will show you how you can print each key and their values. Okay, I will show you how print each key and their values in dictionary. So you see, that's how dictionary works. First, the key and then their values. First variables and their values. You can say you can you should not say variable here. You should say key because Alexa is not a variable. You can see Alexa is not a variable. It is a string. So you should say key. So Alexa is the key and this is the, is value is Python. So uh, and Jack is a key and their value is Java. So, I'll show you how you can print each key and value in dictionary. See for first you should give a key or uh, you can name then its value. I'll show you first key. Let me let me write syntax first, okay? For key and values in dictionary name sorry dictionary name dot items do something okay let me show you see you can these are the syntax for writing here you can see that dot a dot item is used because if you will for dictionary it will not understand that what it is calling entire dictionary so if i will i will i will use dot item it is a predefined function so it is a predefined method if you will call name dot name dot items it will show that oh it is calling the dictionary items okay let me show you in examples you will easily understand that for name and language in Favorite language. Okay. Dot items. See. I will print name and their favorite language. So, so I, I will say the first first name is Alexa. So I will send Alexa favorite favorite language. 
languages like the favorite languages also plus language plus okay. Akanja favorite language is C plus plus Alexa favorite language is Python and favorite language is Ruby Jack favorite language is Java Kaba favorite language is C see it doesn't preserve the order okay it doesn't store the order in the way you you stored that's how dictionary dictionary paid, paid, don't preserve the order if you want to keep dictionaries in order you should use a order dictionary okay there is a dif different dictionary i will tell you later but first here is the answer it is not in order but you can say how it is printing the name and their favorite language you can say if, if the name is not looking good i can say name dot title okay so that it will capitalize the first letter and you can say that long the title or since it is a programming language i can say name dot upper see i can say favorite language c plus plus alexa favorite language python so favorite language is ruby jack favorite, favorite language is okay hope you get the idea how that's how you can use the for loop to print each and their each key and their values in the dictionary let me make you understand that how it works see how it happens that first it takes the first item and then its language it not first you know, any item okay so i will say you here you can say alexa okay suppose it, it chooses akancha as their favorite as their favorite language i will say that let's print to let's print favorite language so to make it more clear okay see so what happens here is first name is akancha and it is using akancha favorite languages and their language then their language is c++ so it is c++ then loop again go to sec for second item here you can see the second name is alexa then it shows that alexa favorite language is python okay then again it loops happens and goes then it says name and like because item is there is still the item so uh, it will say jack favorite language then copy favorite then son favorite language and now that everything is gone so uh, now the list is empty now the dictionary is empty it won't run so it will simply go out of the loop that's how you can print each key and the value yeah. in the dictionary but most most of the time don't need to call the key and the value both of the thing so you can skip the values and you can simply call you can simply use key to get their values okay i will show you how let me first make it more clear You don't have to write every time name and language. You can easily access the language by using name. Because see, if you want to know the Akancha favorite language, so you can simply say favorite language of Akancha. Okay, and it will show you C++. Because you can easily access the name. You should you should avoid using values, or you can just simply remove the values keys here. So I will show you. You can do the same thing using another another technique i will say let's say for for name in favorite language dot item because it here items is calling item takes two values key and the value but if you don't call anything okay if you don't call anything it will simply using the key it knows that you are calling the key so it will say name dot title and the favorite language here language is i have not defined language so i can say that favorite language see how you can access this language their favorite language favorite language and their name so you can see favorite language okay and their name okay then it will solve the same kanja favorite language is c plus plus i like the favorite and see how these both are the same both code is same so you can easily uh, you can print uh, loop without using the dot items you can 
you can also use the dot keys function and it will do the same okay dot keys is used for accessing the keys i will show you how if you will write here favorite language dot keys it will do the same okay it will do the same but here you can see that it makes user to easily understand the code that oh, okay it is only calling the keys let me explain you what happens here is here it takes the name in favorite language you know that name is the keys or you can simply avoid name and you can see simply the key okay it will do the same let's say here key keys what okay if you have changed key so then you have to change key here also okay see here simply the key then key is first key is a kancha then it will print key dot title and kancha title then their favorite language is favorite language key then favorite language and then key key is a kancha and favorite language a kancha is c plus plus then it is printing c plus plus if here it comes and the loop again again run and here the national the key is alexa okay then alexa is dot title Alexa favorite language is favorite key dot key dot double. Let me call let call this code here and see what happens here is suppose here what is the key? Key is Alexa. So I will say Alexa. See it is also Python. So here it is using Python. Alexa favorite is Python. Simply then and favorite then it then Jack then come back. Okay. Hope you easily understand it. If you still didn't understand, let me know in the comments. Yes, like using keys, you can also do the same for values. Let me call it again. And this time I will call the values. Okay. Let's say for name not here. Let's say for language. In private language dot here I will call it language value. Private language dot value. And then name this new name. But by using values we can't access the keys okay so it will simply print the value you can't access the key so it will here you can see that these are the programming languages favorite programming languages of my of my friend Yeah, because it is in the loop it will print again and again so let me print it outside the loop okay print these are the third language of my friend then i will print simply print the language see these are the third programming language of my friend see c plus plus python Ruby Java C. These are the favorite languages of my friend. You can also capitalize that and dot upper. Okay, it will print the language in capital. That's the favorite language. Hope you get the hope you understand the key and the value how it works. So now you can easily print and look in look the dictionaries now let's talk about dictionaries in a list okay let me write first first dictionaries in a, in a list okay i'll show you how let me let me say let me share the dictionaries in list first let's create dictionary okay let's say Let's create dictionary for all of my friends. Let's say Alexa. Let's say name is name is Alexa. Alexa. Okay. Let's say yes is yes is twenty. Okay. Let's say name is favorite language let's say favorite language and you can say favorite language is python okay 
let's say address xyz xyz okay let's copy this let's get another dictionary and let's say here yeah, change the name of my friend alexa to to shan okay this the name is shan yes it's 20 third language is c address is xyz let's 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 keep address the same because address is a very long word i don't want to write like address okay so just let it be said let's say son and let's say here gopal okay yeah name should be gopal age is let's say 17 third language is let's say c plus plus and this is okay let's say another let's create another okay this time let's say ram and name is ram as is let's okay as is a number we can simply add as is 22 third language is rupee here you can remove the let's say age is 21 okay here age is 17 and here age is 20 okay i've created for now now we can store these values in a list let's say my friend my friend these are my friend okay so i will say my friends are alexa Shan, Gopal, and Ram. Now, that's how complexity increases. If you want to access the name of the Gopal, first you have to access the dictionary. So, how can you access? How can you access the dictionary of Gopal? Here you can see that Gopal is. Wait, I forget one thing in the dictionary okay like how you can sort the dictionary okay. you can you can also sort the dictionaries i forget so i first i will explain the name we will again go to dictionary in this first let me tell how sorting in dictionaries okay see you can sort the dictionary using sorted you can use sorted to temporary temporary sort the dictionary sorted we sort the dictionary temporarily and it will be in a in a sorted order first i can't check then i like the then see that's how it sort that's how you can temporarily sort the dictionary and print in order but if you want to sort if you want to currently sort the dictionary we have to use an order dictionary for that I, I, I don't think the dictionary provides sorting so we will discuss that later but you can that's how you can print dictionary in a sorted order that, that was the technique I want to show you ok let's back to where we will working what what Sorry, I deleted that code. What was that? List dictionaries in a list. Dictionaries in a, in a list. Okay. So here you can say that if you want to access the Gopal. Okay, I was working about Gopal. So you can say that my friends, my friends dot two. Now this is how. Wait, my friend to Gopal. Okay, 
So it is printing Gopal. Name Gopal. Private language. Okay. Now we want to access the a particular thing about the Gopal. So you can say that for friend in my friends. My friends. Print. Friend. Initial print. Every of my friend. Here you can see addresses. XYZ is 20 name is Alexa favorite language is Python okay that's how you can use, use dictionaries in a list you can uh, you can also copy the, you know, copy the dictionary suppose what if I want to copy and add more of my friends okay. so you can use for loop for that let's say I want to add 10 friends so I can say that not 10 plan because friends need to be different friend need to different name different days then we can have example of okay example of car let's say example of car car is car should be name should be near name is Hyundai Hyundai okay let's say price is the price is one lakh okay not one lakh actually let's say five lakh okay let's say the speed is fast okay let's say color is color is red okay no the car has been created okay let's name it to hyundai car hyundai car okay but what i want but i want now i want to make a similar car a hundred i want to make a copy of this hyundai car suppose i want a hundred a hyundai car so you can simply use list for that let me show you how I see and I list and a car list and I okay. get you can see how it works. I will say you can also use append method for that, but I know I am good. I'm I thought it will be clear so I am using this here you can say Hyundai car in this suppose I want to make a copy of this Hyundai car 100 times so you can also use for loop and here you will see how I can create 100 car of similar 100 Hyundai car ok let me first write here let me say 100 Hyundai car Okay, let's make a copy of 100 hand icon. So I can send that for car in for car in a range. I want to make a 100 copy, so I will say 100. Okay, and then I will create a new car, or you can say copy of car, copy of car. Okay, and I will simply copy and paste this name let's paste here ok let's paste this is the copy of a car now i will simply here you can see it is the list so if i will append here it will add all the cars in a list so i can simply say now go dot append dot append and copy of car so it will append copy of car and my car list is not defined but first let and my car is not defined yet okay okay now i have copied 100 and i car so if i will i will say hyundai car list okay 
or if you, you will print let me print in an order for car in and I car list okay print car see I have made a copy of 100 car speed fast color red name and I see that's how you can create a list and copy copy the copy the list and make, make a copy of 100 and 1000 dictionaries this is just example of 100 you can create 1000 car you can get to create 10,000 you, you can create 1 lakh cars okay that's up to you i was just giving the idea that's how you can use the but what if you want to print but let me show you and I, I don't want to print all the cars i just want to print the car from 1 to 10 so i can say want to print car from 1 to 10 so it will print only 10 car okay let me show you see it is, it is printing only 10 car so here you can also change change the car like suppose if i will say let me show you your hand eye car list okay first first know that have hand eye car list speed is first color is so i if i will say that an item but let me show you let me copy here and let me paste here here i want to change the first five cards so i can say that let me let me change first five card okay so i can say that first five cards should be card is equal to first five cards should be we copy and paste first five five cards should be slow so i can simply say slow color should be not red it should be green okay price should be because it is solo card let it is the price to four lakhs okay and let's change name okay let name name should be something okay. see now if you if you will see the first 10 10 car again if you, here you will see the difference see the speed is first what first five cars should be changed maybe you should use condition as the car let's change the price car price is equal to 10 lakhs 10 lakhs ok car speed is equal to car speed let's say very fast very fast and let's change color to right. car car color should be it should be grey let's see if it change or not see now it is change so if you print then first ten item see first five items are very fast very fast very fast color is green price is 10 like and nice. if you want to change change this again like what if i want to change all the green car into red car or five five three cars into red car so i can say then let me, let me copy it and sorry let me copy here and let, let's make it can use if I want to first three car you can simply use three uh, and less than first three cars should be four lakh it should be slow okay and color should be red now again if if you will print 
if you will copy and paste here here you will see first and see first three cards are slow then two cards are verified then next cards are first so you can again change color is red 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 and let's change let's change again let's change all the color from 5 to 10 to something else so you can use you can also use if condition inside loop let me let me show you how you can use let's say i want to change the car from 1 to 10 so let's say 5 to 10 okay i want to change the car from 5 to 10 now here you can i can also use if statement to change the car let me show you how let's say if if car color is green okay if car color car color is equal to green okay if color car color is green we will change car color to car color to yellow yellow or you will say blue we will change car color to blue okay if car is very fast if if car is fast because you can see car is you can see car is fast so i will say if car is fast sorry car is speed car is speed equal equal to fast we will change car is speed soon I speed to slow. Wait. So this will be in one. Okay. See. Now let's see all the car. All the first ten car. Let's see first ten car. How it looks. See. How I have changed. First or slow. And again it has been slow it was the color was red now the color should be blue if color okay color was red no color was green so let me tell if color is red okay then here you can see now the color has been blue price has been you can also change price let's let's change price you can simply remove it and let's say car price to one lakh okay let's say again now see price has been changed to one lakh that's how you can change that's how you can use dictionary in the list now let's see list in your dictionary okay list in a dictionary suppose let's say my friend favorite food not my friend my friend seven okay let's say let's say one of my friend favorite food is let's say alexa alexa and their favorite food is instead of using only one one value like you did previous here you you write here like this in the previous dictionary but instead of using only one value you can use list here let's say my favorite food are multiple let's say my favorite food are pizza let's say my favorite food are biryani let's say my favorite food are burger let's say my favorite food are pizza, pasta okay let's say my favorite food are ice cream let's say my favorite food are chicken pop chicken okay now let me again give one of my friend let's say my friend let's say my friend food son son favorite food or let's say pizza let's say biryani biryani and 
let's say burger okay let's add another friend let's say darshi okay let's say alphabet food is pizza okay biryani okay chicken not not chicken okay let's say pasta pasta this ice cream okay what okay i have not added comma yet so now i have created my parent food so you can see how this is the dictionary and we have used list in that inside this dictionary you can now how you can access the list let me show you how you can say for friend in my favorite friend food for food is okay for foods foods because here yeah, multiple food so i am using foods for foods in let me copy this name because it is very long this copy for food in my favorite food okay if i will add here it will work as what it will work similar to kiss but i want to write here kiss so i i will say dot kiss okay no not for toy for friend friend okay no i can say that i can print print my friend my friend my friend let's say my friend name add here this is my friend friend so it will have my friend alexa okay then say favorite foods are okay now let's print all the food so how you can add, add you can how you have it previously let me show you in, in the next section how you can access this item previously is you have to access my friends okay then you have to give the name of alexa then it will show what okay. then it will show all the food so here you can do the same you can say you can see because this is a list you have to use for loop for printing each item so i, I will say that for for foods in you can you can copy this because this will be the list so i can say for my friends dot because name is like the name is the here name is the friend friend is the name here. so i can simply remove alexa and use friend you can use friend okay then we will print each item then we will take print for let's remove food see. see my friend alexa favorite food are pizza biryani burger pasta ice cream magic my friend son favorite food are pizza biryani burger okay my friend darcy foods are pizza biryani ice cream pasta okay you can also add one space to all the so that it will look good so i can say that after each loop there should be a gap so i will say print a blank line now it will look good okay my friend alexa favorite food are my friend son favorite are my friend darcy favorite food are okay hope you get the idea of what i am saying so that's how you can use list inside a dictionary now let's again let's talk about dictionary in a dictionary Let me show you 
define the define here let me give an example of my friend okay let's say my friend okay let me this is a dictionary here let's say my friend first let's say alexa let's say here first we have seen that we have used the key and their value that's first the basic of the dictionary then we have used list here like you did in the previous like food in, in food we have used list but here you will use dictionary here that's what is called dictionary inside dictionary so i will create a new dictionary and here i will say alexa let's say alexa as is like the as is 18 or 20 then we will say alexa favorite favorite programming favorite language and they will say favorite language is python okay then we will say alexa favorite food and then we will say of course which see every dictionary inside dictionary then I will say another. Then I will add another friend. I will say Sean. Okay. Then I will I will say his as is. Let's say his as is twenty. Okay. Let's say a favorite language is C. Okay. Then let's say favorite food. Red food is pizza or biryani. You can say salary. You can say salary, and then say salary is let's say five thousand, not five thousand, fifteen thousand. Okay, that's how you can add another. You can just say another friend is let's say Darcy okay let's say her name her age let's say yes is 19 let's say favorite food favorite food is pasta let's say favorite language Favorite language is C plus plus. Okay. This is the dictionary inside a dictionary. Now, if I want to know the Alex the age of the Alexa, so what I will do? I will say, my friend, my friend. First. If you want to inform, you want to get information about Alexa, then what you will do? You will say my friend Alexa, and it will show all the information about. But what if I want to get a particular information? So you can use. If you want to get the age yes of the Alexa, my friend Alexa, and add here yes, and it will show a particular information. See, age yes, is twenty. You can say my my friend favorite food. So you can simply call tablet good it will also pizza okay. that's how it works so you can use it inside a loop to make it more clear let's say for let's say exa is the name so you can say name and their value so I can say my friend name for friend in my friend in my friend I want to say these are first I want to say that these are my friend okay then let's print this okay. let's talk about first one let's say my favorite friend my favorite friend my favorite friend my favorite friend plus okay then we will say we will print that
Hit edges. Hit edges. Plus. Friend. Okay. And then we will access name using sorry. You can use my friend. My friend. Then you can use here you can see my friend fair then again your friend should be named then you said my friend friend and then should say yes and it will say name is not defined Oops. it's not name actually it's friend is it say and convert it into okay you should convert this into a string str see my favorite friend son is as is 20 my favorite friend darcy his age is 19 my favorite friend alexa his age is 20 okay you can also add a condition here like suppose if if friend friend is equal to dash okay if my friend is dash so i can say i have to print not his because i have to print her her is is str my friend my friend 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 yes see my favorite friend Sean he says this is 19 So it will go outside the door. My friend, my favorite friend son, he says 20. My favorite friend Darcy, he says her age is 19. My favorite friend Alexa, her age, he says is continuum. You may be wondering what is doing continuum. Continuum is used to go just like it works same like break, 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 just break the loop and continue just pass the loop for particular condition okay so this is 20 simple that's how you can access the edge but you can you can easily access by using instead of using only calling friend and you, here if you don't what if you don't want to write these names in a loop because we use variables not the value of a string so we can simply say let's make it more clear and let's say for friend and their info okay then i will say my favorite friend this and if friend is equal to darcy okay it, it's good hi is this my friend not is here actually let's say info info is a dictionary you can see that first is friend and the second is info first is friend and the second is info and info is a dictionary so you can do that to info so i will say that let's make it more complex don't worry you will understand it so i say i have to create another for loop to access in the dictionary item okay so i say for because that is a dictionary so i will say for key and value in info dot items now it is this is accessing the for key and value is in items now it is accessing the these these two values let me show you these two values this is the key and this is the values okay this is the key this is the value 
so now I can access suppose I will print my file code and this thing print his as is his as is now I want to print the value so I can say because value should be the age so I will say his as is no, not his age actually it will print all the thing here his age is 19 his age is pasta his age is C++ let me show you too many values to ok sorry not here I have not put items here let me put items no it will see see it will print all the thing his age is his age is 19 his age is pasta his age is C++ ok let me show you Okay. Okay. See, his age is twenty. His age is biryani. His age is fifteen thousand. So that's not what we want. We want to print the value and his age is nineteen. His favorite food is pizza. So I can say that he is instead of writing yes here, we can say his plus. What are the keys? Is 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 then we will say is then we will say value. Now it will say my favorite friend son. His age is twenty. His favorite food is biryani. His salary is fifty thousand. His favorite language. My favorite friend Darcy. His age is nineteen. His favorite language C plus plus. His favorite food is pizza. His favorite food. His my favorite friend. Okay. Let, it, let, let me make it more clear and let's say print to add a gap here between all of my friends okay now let me show you wait first i want to remove the his because she is a girl so he his cannot do so i can say if if key is equal to thus Okay, so I have tried print her plus key plus is plus str. See, what? friend is that, so I can say that if friend is equal equal thus ok then I have to print here all the thing I will show you I will tell you I will explain all the code don't worry ok ok print to remove the gap here okay see now remove it more clear what happens here it, that C is a friend okay Darcy is not he so here for friend what are who are my friend my friends are let me show you Alexa Sean and Darcy okay so first friend is Sean it is because it takes random variable so don't worry it is taking sun so my friend is sun then it says my favorite friend is sun if friend is Darcy no friend is sun so this code won't run okay now it will come to here for key and values in sun because she key and value of sun I have already explained this because see what happens here is info what is info info is the dictionary here 
these are the input and key and values are what these are these are the keys and these are the values so it will print his key what is key shan sign key is s then it print his s is 20 his favorite language is c his favorite food is biryani his favorite salad is 57 you can see his favorite food is biryani his salad is 57 his favorite language is c okay mm, now when again a loop again come here here it sees the friend is darcy so my favorite friend is darcy if friend is darcy yes condition is true it will find for key value in in python same here it will on it is only take her and then her keys what are her keys her keys are her age is 19 her favorite food is pasta her favorite language is c plus plus so it is printing her age is 19 her favorite language is c plus plus okay i have not added cap here so i can say her favorite language is c plus plus her favorite food is pasta okay i can also add full stop here to make it more clear okay and i can also give a title to each keyword let's say title let's title to each text okay let's see now it looks good here you can i can also say friend dot title hope you understand the code that's how it's called make sure you revise this code again and again at least five times so that you can understand what are the things going on you can easily understand what are the things going on you can write complex problem by using these things you can use this inside dictionary and dictionary inside list or dictionary inside dictionary and it by using this by using this technique you can create unlimited number of unlimited number of data dictionary is mostly used for let me give an example it is mostly used for website services but if there are too many users so this is mostly used for website to know the users let's say users then we will say what are the users then we will say user 1 okay then i will say again create a dictionary and user 1 name what are the name of the user okay name one xyz or name one alexa then what is the age of that user okay so you can say yes means oh, i mean yes is 20 okay and then you can say the windows or laptop which are you, you are using and you can say pet platform so you can write on Windows, Windows, Windows 10. If you can create another user using this technique. Control C, Control V, Control V. No, no. What? I forget colon. User 2. Let's say user three. Let's say user four. Okay, let's change the name to Mac OS. Mac OS. Okay, let's change the name to Alexa to Gopal. Let's say name to Shan. Let's change the name to Darcy. Change platform to Android. Let's change this to 17, 19. Let's change this to 
That's how you create. This is I'm giving you an example. Okay. And now you can print all the errors. Then print that for friend for friend and info in users. Sorry, not you not friend for user users info in users. For user info in user. Now, if you want to print each user and their age and all the things, so you can say for key key and their values. So I can say in value in info because info is a dictionary. So I can say info dot items. Yeah, you should also use dot items because if you not put item it will only take keys so if for key and values in the item then i will print print name we can simply say key because name is the key you say name is value can be a integer also so we will add str so to convert it into a string okay then we will add full stop you can also make it title to look it good okay you can also make it title no key doesn't need key not need to be title okay no now it will print let print see as it's python platform is python name is python what key and values oops values see as is 19 platform is android name is that you can also add a yeah, print here so you can get the gap between is 19 platform is android name is that is it 20 platform is windows 10 name is alex is it 21 platform is my god name is gopal is it 22 platform is my windows 10 name is sun okay i hope you get the idea of how you can use the dictionary inside dictionary okay enough for the video thank you